Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for my very first gift guide. Happy Thanksgiving to you. I hope you're spending the day with loved ones, with family, just enjoying the time together. I really feel like we don't get enough of that these days. And I'd like to extend my thanks to you for joining me again for another video. I know there were so many choices on YouTube. I'm so glad you found this channel and you continue to come back again and again. I really do appreciate it. So this is my very first gift guide and it took a lot more work than I thought it was gonna take. I thought I was just gonna choose things here and there, but I really wanted to be thoughtful about what I was presenting to you. So I thought of these things in categories. I thought, I hope I have not been showing this beauty blind. I've just had this in my hand. Okay, ouch. I was just using it for a touch up, okay. When I thought about this gift guide, I thought about a few things. So how many times have there been occasions where you don't even recall what the gift was or what you gave to someone. So I like for things to have meaning. So I picked things that either I would like to receive or actually have received as a gift and continue to use daily because I like those kinds of things that um, are incorporated into like daily systems and become kind of part of your life. I also like to give gifts that I know people will use up. So not something that will take up space, but something that is actually practical and will be used till the very end. So I love those kinds of gifts. So kind of like keepsake gifts, um, gifts that will be used till the end. So I consider those things as timeless, even though the consumable types of gifts will be gone. Um, they're timeless because you'll actually use them and they're not trendy, I wanna say. So there have been a few things I featured on my channel that were that are trendy now, but I've had for years because they were practical to me, but now they're trendy. So I actually have one of those items in here. I finally have a gift that is universal. So I have a gift idea. If you have no idea what to get someone that'll work for almost everyone. I have some luxury things and I have some things that are more affordable too. So um, just because it's a luxury beauty channel doesn't mean that I don't have some things that are very nice, but also that don't cost a whole lot. So this item falls into the category of something I actually purchased for myself about 30 years ago, 25 years ago, something like that. And I remember it because it was in London. I got it at Harrods, I actually got two of them and I still use it to this day. So I feel like that's a really good indicator of a gift that has staying power, something that's timeless. And I actually purchased a new one. So this is actually new to me, but the same range. So this is a Mason Pearson brush. So Mason Pearson brushes are timeless. They've been around since 1885. There's a lot of history behind this brush. Now this looks different than the other ones I have. I have one that's pure boar hair bristle. I have one that's that mixed one. And I learned that one is for finer hair and then one is for more coarse hair. This is for wet brushings. And the only time I really brush my hair is after I wash it actually before and after I wash it. So before I wash it, sometimes I'll brush it and put some kind of treatment in it. Or after I wash it, I'll brush it and add a leave-in conditioner. So this is a great one for wet brushing. So this will just be added to my collection. I also forgot to mention, these might be gifts that you wanna put on your list. If you are looking for a really nice hairbrush that will last you a long time, I mean, mine's been around for going on 25, 30 years. So this is gonna last me probably the rest of my life. This one is the detangling brush. So I actually hadn't seen this one before and I'm glad that I picked it up. It has a brush cleaner. So you run it through and you can clean the brush, which will be good because the first time I brush my hair, you're gonna see my hair because it's so dark against this. But this is a truly timeless gift. And something I think when someone uses this, they'll think of you that you gave it to them. That's what happens, especially with makeup brushes that I've received as gifts. Very practical, but also very luxurious and maybe something someone won't actually buy for themselves. Slippers are one of those things that is kind of a typical gift, right? People give slippers, but these are special slippers. These are actually slippers I've used since we moved a few years ago because we have, you can kind of see a little, oh no, you can't see a little bit, but we have finished concrete floors. So they're very hard. And when I was walking around initially, my back and my legs started to hurt. So I thought, let me invest in some shoes or slippers that are going to be good for my back and my feet and my legs. And I picked these up. Now these are a newer version. I would show you mine, but they're really, they're grubby because I've had them for almost three years now. Um, but these are Birkenstocks. And I know that they were kind of like 
not trendy and then they became trendy. Maybe not the prettiest shoe, but they are so good for my back and my legs and my feet. And these are the Arizona ones and they have this kind of shearling inside. So these are also, you can get them with like the closed toe, but I like these because you can wear them in the summer too. I use them all year round. So these are like my house slippers. So they're kind of like, these are a cute color too. So these are kind of like a luxurious slipper really. And what I like is that the bottom can be cleaned really easily. So I do wear these just inside the house. So these are my house slippers. So I thought I'd update them with these latest version. I think they're really cute. So if you know someone who loves slippers, these are super cozy and will last for years. Another item that I think is timeless for the beauty lovers out there is a book, a makeup book. This is the Ray Morris Makeup Masterclass. And I've had this for several years now. What I like about it is that she talks about everything that not just makeup. So there are some sections like the flawless foundation section, um, optimizing your eyes, perfecting your brows, and then there are techniques to reduce the signs of aging, which is really interesting. So it's a very technical book, but it's also very user-friendly. So it's pretty thick too. So it's a great book for anyone who is a makeup fan. I think makeup actually is a little bit hard to buy because the color selection is very personal, but I like something like a book that's universal and will last for pretty much forever. Speaking of Ray Morris, I have her brushes, and if you want to really indulge someone in a very nice makeup brush, this is the first brush I purchased from her. It's called the Ultimate Cheekbone Brush, and I like it because of its unique shape. You see a lot of um, shapes similar to this, but not this exact one. So what you do is you put a little bit of contour or whatever you want to shade with right here on this part, you place it under your cheekbone and you swipe. So this alone would be a very luxurious gift. These are also sold in sets. On Beautylish, I know they have a set that has five brushes and it includes the Ultimate Cheekbone Brush, this smaller brush called the Square Kabuki Brush. I use that for highlighter. I like that one for highlighter. Also, if you're blending in contour, um, I think that's a good one. And then we also have the Flawless Shader Brush, great for bronzing it around the perimeter of the face. It's shaped like this. It looks very similar, but not exactly the same. And then it comes with two Kabuki brushes, the Deluxe Kabuki and also the Mini Kabuki. So this one's great for powder or blush. You can also use this for blush. I do have the frame that goes with it. So one thing about these, if you don't already know, is that they're magnetic. And that's what I love the most about these. I mean, they're great brushes too, but they are magnetic. So I hang them like that so the dust doesn't fall onto the brushes. I feel like when they're stored like this, dust falls on them so I store them actually upside down and they're great for drying like this and then for these these are not magnetic but you can also purchase this little holder so again mine are older so they're not gonna be as pretty as a new set but these are things I reach for every day so this actually though has a magnet on it the holder itself I have of course more brushes than this but that's how they can be housed the last brush idea I took this out today because I used it and I thought, oh, this is a really luxurious brush gift. It's the Artiste Palm Brush. I did a review on it and the reason I don't use it every day is because, see how tightly packed the bristles are? It's a little bit difficult to wash. That is my only thing about this. Otherwise, the application is really, really beautiful when you use this for foundation. So I wanted to put a little, just a thin layer of foundation. I used this, it worked out so, oh, that's my hair. It worked out so beautifully. When it comes to actually giving makeup as a gift, I think it's really difficult because you're not sure if the color will work for them or if they even like it. But this one, I think it's a really great idea because it comes out during the holidays and it's limited edition. And I think this color actually is quite universal. So it's the Meteorites Golden Land. It looks like this. Plus look how beautiful this is. So the color on this is like a coppery, rosy, and I'm dropping them. How, what, like when does this never happen that I drop one of these? It's a beautiful coppery, and there's some like rose coppery colors in there. So I think for once, if you are deeper in skin tone, this is actually going to work for you. If you're not though, you could use as a bronzer. I actually use this on the exterior of my face, kind of as a bronzer, or even as a blush color. So I think this is more universal than their traditional shades that they offer right now. So I, I just feel like anyone would love this one. Speaking of cosmetics and universal, we've got this by Terry 
little cracker so it's already wrapped i love that and it's got two items that are my favorite things in there so let's just open that so you can see actually i haven't opened it yet it comes with my favorite mascara which is the double effect mascara the twist brush one and then it also comes with this small by terry of course it's by terry the bomb de rose but it's in the gloss form i've used I had one of these and I think I may have had a large size of it. I used them all up. So these are two items that I know someone is going to use all up. So if you wanted to give something that's kind of a consumable kind of makeup gift, this is another great one. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have this beautiful necklace on right now, this payette necklace. And I also have it in the bracelet form. I'll try and do some close-ups for you of these so you can see them a little bit better. But these are by a company called Viv and Ingrid. And I'm so happy to be talking about them because Ingrid has been a personal friend of mine for, gosh, Ingrid, how long has it been? 35 years? That sounds like a long time. I think that's right. I think we've been friends for 35 years. I actually recall when this company was being even just discussed with Vivian and Ingrid, I was actually at the table with them. It was at a um, California pizza kitchen and it was on a napkin and they were talking about their concept. So I just remember being there when this company was actually born. So it's been fun to watch the progress of this company as well as just how well it's done. They've been in business for 20 years. They've been quite successful. If you go to their website, there's a section where you can click on it and see which celebrities and um, performers have worn their jewelry and their people you will recognize. So I'll have you head over there and just take a look if you wanna see. So I let Ingrid know that I was coming up with a gift guide, asked her if she wanted to participate, have her lend me some of her items so I could just highlight them for you and then also see if I could get you a little discount. So she sent me some items and um, actually it turns out she said to just keep whatever I want. So um, I will be sending some of them back but to the ones that I keep, just know that they were sent to me complimentary. So thank you again, Ingrid. I did not expect that. So I really appreciate it because I love, I love some of the pieces. Um, but I'll show you everything that she sent me. She is extending a discount to my viewers. So you get 20% off with Everyday Edit 20. So I don't receive an affiliate code um, incentive for it, but you do get the discount. So I just want to let you know, so make sure to use it if you wanted to order something. So we've got the bra necklace and bracelet, and we also have the earrings. Oh, I forgot to mention, these are earrings, they're hexagons. So I just wanted to let you know they have started to carry fine jewelry as well. So if you wanted to take a look at that. In addition to these earrings, necklace, which, yeah, I love this, this, this payette necklace, sorry, they're all tangled, this payette necklace. It just layers so pretty with the other necklaces that I have. Actually, I have been looking for one like this to have something go all the way around. I love it. Um, and then these earrings. I actually, I had these earrings a long time ago and Ingrid, I don't know what happened to them, but look how beautiful they are. So these are gonna be one of the ones I'm keeping, but they are so pretty. I have been on the hunt for something like them. And then I thought, well, let me just go back to Ingrid because. They're the ones who we got them from first, but they are just really beautiful. So there are these hoop earrings, very delicate. They do have one, um, I think there was a hoop earring that was for non-pierced ears too, if you wanted to take a look at those. She has a new design I haven't seen before, but they're little uh, earrings that are on a hoop and then they dangle like this, so really beautiful. I like those. And then if you like studs, there are these cute little, they're like little pyramid studs that I think are really great for the minimalist in your life. Of course, I'll do some close-ups. Don't know if you can see that really well. They also come in a beautiful box. And then inside, it's wrapped with a little tissue and heart. And then inside that, there's a little fabric bag that houses the jewelry. So it's really nice wrapping. Like You don't have to do any wrapping after that. Just put a card on it. <laughs> Just so you know what the material is on most of the items, it's 925 sterling silver with 14 karat gold fill. So they work with semi-precious stones, pearls, and Swarovski crystals as well. They're made by hand in small batches, so they're made by artisans. Their studios in California, they also have a retail shop called Viv and Ingrid at Oxford Hall. It's located in downtown Berkeley. So if you live in the Bay Area and you wanna stop by, go say hi to Ingrid. They also carry, I'm looking here, nail polish, perfume cosmetics, and confections. So lots of local type 
products. So if you're in the Berkeley area and you want to support local business and small business, I would head down there, let Ingrid know I sent you. Please say hello for me. So again, thanks so much Ingrid for allowing me to keep some of these things because I think they're really beautiful. I mean, I would love to receive any of these as gifts. I would definitely be wearing them every day. But yeah, jewelry is one of those things that if you notice, I mean, I wear the same jewelry all the time. So if there's a piece that I love, I will wear it over and over and over again. I don't have that many pieces of jewelry. So I think when a nice piece of jewelry is given, it's something that is worn time and time again. So one of the things I wear time and time again is actually a gift I received. It is a scarf, which is signature to that brand. So this is Burberry and you've seen me wear this before and it's something I keep really good care of because I don't want it to get um, eaten by moths or anything, but it just adds something. It elevates your outfit by just adding something like this. It just adds a touch of class. This is the lighter weight one. I know there is a heavier one for a much cooler climate, but I don't live in a cold place. It doesn't snow here. So this is a nice and thin and you can wear this year round too. So I like that about it. So this is a gift my parents gave me, I wanna say a couple of Christmases ago and I still love it. Like I just love wearing it and it's one of the few scarves I have as well. Another item that is gonna last a really long time, I don't know if it's gonna last a lifetime, but is this card holder that I received as a gift. And the reason I love it is because it's so small and it holds all of my cards. Now, not many people carry cash anymore and including me. So this carries things like my driver's license, bank cards, things like that. So this is another great gift that someone will use every single day. And it's just nice and compact. So if you want to transfer your things from a bag to a clutch, then you still have everything here ready to go. You don't have to mess with condensing a wallet or anything like that. It's already condensed. So you just put this from one bag to the other and you know you have everything you need. So I think that's a really great gift for someone who's pragmatic, but also loves a little bit of luxury. So another luxury is silk. I love the feeling of silk. And here's one for a beauty lover or anyone who just wants to be more comfortable sleeping. It's a silk pillowcase. And I did receive this as a complimentary um, gift from the company. The company is MYK Silk. But what I noticed is that my hair, and I think in one of the videos I showed you, this is a beautiful like silvery gray color is that my hair was much smoother after sleeping on this because it doesn't get roughed up as it would with a different kind of material. And also my face doesn't have as many wrinkles because I sleep like this on my face and typically I'll have creases in them because I don't really move that much and then it gets indented and takes a few hours to like come out of my face. So this creates a smooth surface for me to sleep on so it doesn't create as many indentations on my face as usual. So I have been using this every day since I received it. I would definitely give this as a gift. Then we've got these silk pajamas. So I have always wanted silk pajamas and I think these are so beautiful. These are from, I think I picked these up from Bloomingdale's, but the color is really pretty. And then I just think that is the ultimate luxury is to have pajamas that are made of silk because we spend so much time lounging around our houses when we get home. I don't know how much you spend on your lounging clothes at home, but I feel like that's a place I need to invest in because I spend so much time at home. So this is kind of a first step in that direction into investing into more luxurious loungewear. And I think a pair of silk pajamas is, that is a very nice luxury. We have this, <laughs> I call this the universal gift because this would be a great gift for someone in your office where you think, I don't know what to get them, or it's for that person that you know you have to give a gift to, but you're not quite sure you know enough about them. So if you don't know what this is, it's called, let me just say this correctly, because I was saying it incorrectly. Where'd it go? This is called a tentacle. And what it is, and they approached me, they were so sweet. Um, I guess someone at the company watches my video, so I don't know who you are watching, but thank you so much for watching. They thought this channel aligned with their product, and at first I thought, hmm, that's interesting. I don't know how we align. But then I thought, no, I love innovation, and this is a very innovative product. So this is what it looks like out, and it's, it looks like the suction cups on an octopus. What it is is a phone, tablet, camera holder. So if you've ever used one of those tripods, those flexible ones, this one's got suction cups on it because I've tried 
Honestly, I've tried a few of them before and they haven't worked. Like they'll slide around whatever you're trying to adhere it to. So it suction cups onto the back of your phone. I just have a phone ring here and it holds it. It holds up to actually 15 pounds. And I thought this would be really great actually for some of the people in my family who just for like stocking stuffers, I think it'd be great because it'll hold up that device. There's a universal thread here if you wanna attach something like a camera so it's a little sturdier on there, but you can put it in any position, which is what I like. And you can adhere it to a window and have it hold your phone. So I've thought about filming before in an away location, and I think this would be a really great thing to prop up just on a window and then have it hold the camera so it can film me. So you might see more away videos at this point, but I love how it rolls up into a little ball too. Like it's so compact. So this is actually quite a useful tool that I would certainly use myself. And I'm actually going to be gifting it to a couple people in my life where I think that this will be really, really handy. So I really appreciate the innovation around this and trying to make a better solution to something like what's gonna hold my phone or device or camera. So they sent this to me complimentary to try out and I told them I would try it out and I would feature it if I liked it. So if I'm featuring, that means I liked it and it really worked. So yeah, I just think it's such a cool gadget to have. And they're offering you $5 off if you're interested. So find the information below and you can click on the link and get your $5 discount. And one more thing, there's this great little stocking stuffer or for someone who's just kind of starting with makeup, it's a three-piece lip care set. I don't think I've talked about this much, but I do love this Agave Lip Mask. It's my second favorite one to the Balm de Rose by, by Terry. And then it also has this nighttime lip therapy. I'm gonna actually use this as a gift, so I'm not gonna really get into that. And you also have this little teeny tiny lip balm. So this was a really practical gift but it's a definitely a little luxury. That is the gift guide for this year. So those again are things that I've received as gifts that I use over and over again, that I know that if you gave to someone as a gift or you wanted to receive as a gift, it would be used over and over again. There are also things I've purchased for people. So if you are my family, don't watch this video, it's probably too late. I will text you to not watch this video because it's gonna end up under the tree for you. Or those are things that you might want to gift yourself or put on a wish list if you weren't sure what you wanted. Those are some things I would definitely highly, highly recommend that I know you'll get your use out of and your money's worth because when it comes to luxury, it's really easy to spend a lot on something, but what's worth it? What are those things that do cost more, but are things that you get your money's worth out of that you use every single day? So I think all of these things fall under that category. So I hope that was useful for you. If you have something that you think is a timeless gift, that we should consider. I'd love to know what those things are because I still have some shopping to do. And also I forgot to say, if you like this lighting, cause if you notice it's way brighter, but it's because the winter light is so fleeting. It really, I only have about a three hour window where I can film and then the light is either just too harsh or it's not bright enough. So I went to a ring light for this. So let me know what you think. It's a lot easier for me to film with a ring light because it's way more consistent, but let me know what you think. I'd love your feedback. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.